mystery dog illness, which in rare cases is causing life-threatening problems, has vets in the Philly area on high alert. CBS Philadelphia's Nikki Dementry details now what dog owners need to know. According to the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture, the state is now on a growing list of places reporting cases of what they're calling an atypical respiratory illness with no known cause found in canines. We spoke with dog owners who some are concerned, others are taking a wait and see approach. I'm keeping him out of the dog park for a while until it blows over. Marcella Sanchez is keeping his 10 month old Malinois Tyson away from other dogs after learning of the respiratory illness. His advice to others is heartfelt. I would just tell people to be careful and like limit their dog's exposure with other dogs, strange dogs. She's a lab husky. She's got a lot of energy, likes to run. Um, isn't great at playing catch and loves giving kisses. And that's why dog mom Sally Bolden is keeping a closer eye on Frankie while the respiratory illness is going around. She's hoping others with sick dogs keep them home. In the city, it's a lot more difficult um, as other people, you know, are around all the time. You're kind of just hoping that everyone else has the same mindset. I need to take my slide. According to the state's Department of Agriculture, diagnostic testing in the state is being provided through three labs, including here at PennVet. We're not sure if it's truly a mystery illness. Nothing so far has um, cultured anything specifically, so we're just going with the same canine infectious respiratory disease complex that we're used to seeing. Downstairs, we spoke with Dr. Deborah Mandel with the emergency department. So far, she says they haven't seen a respiratory illness come through its doors with no known cause. Still, experts are encouraging dog owners to take precautions, including avoiding large gatherings, other sick dogs, and using public water bowls. Many, many institutions are doing studies to try to make sure that it's nothing we have to be more concerned about. If your dog exhibits any of these symptoms, it's best to have them see a vet. Nikki Dementry, CBS News, Philadelphia.